Hi, this is John from NYC. Um, today, I'm going to do the unboxing of another alcohol stuff that I have ordered. As you notice, still sealed. So, let's open this. this from Amazon but it seems like it's Chinese it's called the um, JTY alcohol stove it will say right there and There's no manual or anything. Look like so. Okay. That's where you put the alcohol in it. And first you can control the, uh, how much fire you want. There's a locking mechanism down here. If you look at it, it has a little lever. So, um, what I'm going to do Okay. I'm gonna put a one ounce of aqua in here and let's see uh, if that will actually be able to pour the water. Okay. I know you guys can see this. Is one ounce of um, alcohol. Pour it in here. Okay. I think I should have uh, put it in. Okay. Maybe I should have uh, started like this. It opens up. And you guys can see this. Okay. The pot it actually fits. I guess. One thing great about this is that uh, you just light it and you don't have to worry about to uh, prime. Let me uh, put water in here. It's 500 milliliter of water, 16.9 ounces. Let's get this ready. To check the temperature. And water temperature is 59 degrees Fahrenheit. And let me open this up. Light this. And how long it takes. It's lit. Yeah. 
flame is pretty strong as it is. Jesus. You can limit how much you could do. So it's, I'm gonna leave it all the way open. It's time. Here's the temperature. Um, when I read the thing on uh, on specs, it says uh, you get boil of uh, 500 milliliter of water between four to seven minutes. But since it's a uh, thing is so wide, I'm not too sure. Um, if this thing is efficient. Let's find out. I'm not even sure one ounce is enough to boil the water. I don't think this is uh, very efficient when it's all the way open. I guess you gotta do some kind of uh, flame control to do this, but who knows. What I think this is a uh, very good for like base camp if you're going camping. Very sturdy. And I think it's the whole thing is made with the stainless steel, if I'm not mistaken, and it's pretty strong. So you could uh, put a heavier pot in there too. Just might be able to do it. Who knows? Okay, both water, but I did uh, uh, start this a few seconds late, so I say about about 4 minutes and 30 seconds, it actually does work, and one ounce, definitely can boil the water, wow.
That's interesting. And about tech. And it's about done. It's just running on fumes. <laughs> Okay, let's off to the pot now. Voila, it's finished. So in this one, one ounce, you could definitely uh, boil the water. I guess uh, it is depending on the uh, temperature because on a spec when you go on um, Amazon to buy this, it says uh, you'll boil the 500 milliliter of water in a four to seven minutes. I think uh, within seven minutes, I think you can, you might even be able to boil up uh, one liter. My assumption, but you will definitely need uh, more, uh, more alcohol, like maybe between two to three ounces. And by looking at the size and um, sheer volume of the actual size over there. You could you could uh you could uh put I should say about uh anywhere between uh, four to five ounces or uh, you should actually be able to put it in there. I I should say uh four ounces being safe side. So. Oh, this is not too bad. Uh, this this thing is called the uh, JTY alcohol stove. Uh, you go uh, find this thing in uh, Amazon.com. And if I'm not mistaken, I, uh, after tax, I paid a little over eleven dollars. I uh, so by looking at it. This is a little bit more cheaper than, uh, I, I should say, uh, Go Hike or Red Can alcohol stove. Uh, definitely uh, much cheaper than Transier. And, but at, at the same time, this is much bigger. And I think, oh, this game, this thing is much um, heavier than those things so if you want to go for ultra light backpacking this is not for you but if you want to use this for the um base camp at the camp campsite or if you're going car camping i think this is one of the um great stuff for it and of course this is flat bottom Ooh, it's hot it's still hot the whole thing it's gonna take some time to uh, cool off. So, uh, re realizing this is taking a long time to cool it down, so it's gonna be stainless steel for the uh, for the price. I think it's definitely worth it for camping or the car camping. It's not for the uh, ultra light backpacking. Just to uh, remind me on that. So, and it definitely, definitely uh, be able to do the job. And you can, uh, some, you can actually control the flame with this. So, it's not too bad. Um, okay. Um, if you like my video, please uh, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Till next time. Bye.